We are on the cusp of a creative revolution that will be as transformative as the scientific revolution was hundreds of years ago. This creative revolution is fueled by need and divine imperative. We are on the cusp of a creative revolution precisely when we are facing a creativity crisis. Creatives will lead the world and build the future. Creatives know how to harness life's intelligence and how to mine it for creative solutions. You can't see the solutions or occupy the information field that is the solution if you don't embody the archetype of the solution first. In other words, you have to be a vibrational match to the solution. You literally have to be the change you want to see in the world. To create abundantly, you must first occupy the information field that is abundance. To create sustainability, you must first be sustainable, and so on. Being creative, sustainable, and abundant, etc., is our natural state. Our conditioning takes us away from this natural state. To become fundamentally creative, deliberate, you have to decondition your situationally creative response. In other words, you have to stop becoming reactive and move towards an intentional goal with clarity and deliberate action. Situational creativity, that's reacting, is in the moment. It's reactive. It's determined by your conditioning. It offers short-term solutions. It's finite. It comes from the conditioned mind. It is the result of thinking and reasoning, and it is consequently reasonable. Fundamental creativity, the end goal here, transcends our conditioning. It often arrives in epiphanies and aha. It comes from infinite source. It is imaginative and possibility-oriented. It aligns with cosmic order. It is consequently unreasonable. Sometimes we call it a miracle. Deconditioning involves rewiring the brain, recoding the epigenetic programming, and a creative practice that protects you from being reconditioned and aligns you with life's intelligence. The root of deconditioning lies in clearing the nine core archetypes, the nine resiliency keys. And if you want to learn more about those, you can go to my website, quantumalignmentsystem.com. And there's all kinds of videos and information about the nine resiliency keys there. And of course, when we decondition these nine core archetypes, we create with integrity. Those nine resiliency keys are self-trust, empowerment, lovability, courage, authenticity, decisiveness, emotional wisdom, self-worth, and vitality. And of course, we talked about this already. When we are deconditioned, we create with integrity, meaning we're in physical integrity, resource integrity, identity integrity, moral integrity, and energetic integrity. And when we are resilient and create with integrity, we are living in a state of what I call, well, what's well, the Jewish word? I didn't call it this. Anava, meaning we come, we're actually being truly humble. We're occupying our right place and filling no less than or no more than our right space. When we are humble, we are living into the expression of a personal narrative that encompasses our unique, vital, and irreplaceable role in the cosmic plan. We take up no more than our right place, no less than our right space. We honor and uphold the value of our own life and consequently see and honor the value of all life. We recognize that we are part of a whole and our actions not only serve the maintenance of our own value, they simultaneously serve the greater good. When we rewrite our personal narrative to tell the true story of who we are once in a lifetime cosmic events, we add the expansiveness and the preciousness of our own narrative to the expansiveness and the preciousness of the personal narrative of others. When we live from an authentic and aligned personal narrative, it enhances well being, the currency of the creative revolution on every level. Well being is contagious. We all do better when we all do better. We all do better when we're creating well-being from a fundamentally creative state and in alignment with life's intelligence. Once we decondition and live from a narrative that's based on our unique, vital, and irreplaceable role in the cosmic plan, a narrative that is abundant, peaceful, valuable, and sustainable, we naturally begin to decondition and rewrite our collective narrative. This new narrative enables us to harness our innate creative capacity and to mine the quantum field in alignment with life's intelligence, enabling us to see and implement the solutions to the challenges facing humanity today. That allows us to build a peaceful, just, equitable, abundant, and sustainable world. So you play a vital part of this program. 
your your existence is a holographic embodiment of the cosmos. And you have a unique and vital and irreplaceable role to play in creating the change necessary to truly live and build a quantum economy, an economy that's rooted in the idea that you are enough, everyone is enough, because we are enough, we have enough. And from that place of enoughness, we create a creative revolution that changes the world. So you are the solution. Your well-being is essential. Your success is imperative. So I'll leave you with this. In the material era, value is quantified by numbers. The metric of the quantum era is love. Love is not quantifiable. Therefore, it is infinite.